The Navi Pro IT Break. 15 entertaining minutes with our experts on hot topics. They're designed to help you keep up to date on the latest IT trends. Good day, everyone. Welcome to episode 62 of our podcast, IT Break. My name is Eric Kathne. I'm a pre-sales infrastructure solution designer at NaviPro, and I will be your host today. Today, my guest is Giovanni Mistretta, who were with us at the episode 42. If you remember him, he was talking about backup and recovery, and he's a sales specialist for Metallic and product from Cobb Vault. Welcome, Giovanni. Thank you, Eric. Um, Giovanni, last time you were here, um, you made a podcast discussing about backup and recovery solution and mainly through cloud, which is a big uh, hot topic today. Um, after two years of pandemic, um, it's still it's still something very important. It's still one of the biggest topics we are discussing about. And um, we'd like to know what is the relationship between backup, recovery, and ransomware, for example? Yeah, it, it's interesting how far we've come and how the world has changed in the last two plus years. Uh, when we were in the middle of the pandemic, there were a lot of unknowns that our customers were going through as far as their backup and recovery solutions were concerned. Customers had started their hybrid cloud journey, whether they were working in a data center previously and had some types of applications in the cloud, or if they were looking to move solely to the cloud, um, it, it's become very much more apparent that customers are looking at the cloud as a primary tool for their backup and recovery initiatives. Ransomware has only exacerbated that need. Uh, customers are under threat constantly. We talk about remote work uh, having been the primary way two and a half years ago. With customers having their employees go back into the office and now having a hybrid uh, work set going on, meaning some of us are in the office, some of us are working from home, it's only increased the footprint that customers have to protect. So now it, it really adds to the, the level of focus that customers have to have on their backup and recovery initiatives. Um, quite honestly, employees re remain the primary focus for cyber criminals, whether it's set through SaaS applications like Office 365, Salesforce, or Dynamics 365. Um, they're looking at us as the primary way to exploit a customer's data set. So what Commvault aims to do is protect those solutions to give customers recovery readiness in a very elegant and simple to digest way. We've been doing this for over 25 years. Quite honestly, uh, Commvault is recognized as a leader in backup and recovery. We've been recognized in the Gartner Magic Wave for the last 10 years. And we've also been at the Gartner Report for the last 10 years, as well as the Forrester Wave for the last 10 years as being furthest in innovation and, uh, and a technological complete, technologically complete solution. So it's one of the things where our customers look to Commvault for backup and recovery, not only for what we've been able to do previously, but also for what we're aiming to do moving forward. Yeah, and, and it's a really good, uh, interesting topic. What you just said, the um, evolution of Commvault and Metallic during time. And since the pandemic, um, we, we completely changed our way of working because we went from on-premise office working uh, with the work laptop and stuff like that to work from home, yeah. meaning a lot of mobility, a lot of people um, even in different countries. And it's a, it's, it's a little bit more complicated, I would say, to protect the data that uh, evolve inside the company because of those computers at home, lost of computers sometimes, unfortunately, those data breach that you just said. So how, how did the backup solution in the market evolve and adapt with this new reality? What is the new working mode? Yeah, 
and and Eric, what what you're talking about with the evolution of the work model is really the way that Commvault has evolved since the the uh, the release of Metallic back in 2019. Quite honestly, we we released Metallic two and a half months prior to the pandemic really taking hold globally, and we've only seen a a, a large uptick in Metallic usage simply because we give customers the ability to protect on-premise and cloud workloads, regardless of where they reside. So whether they're laptops, SaaS application, um, virtual machines on-premises or in the cloud, customers need to have a solution that's flexible, but also gives them the, the type of backup and recovery that they would expect from an industry leader. And ultimately that's what Metallic has provided for the last two and a half years. So as those laptops and as those endpoints uh, become kind of prime targets for criminals to attack, solutions have to be in place to ensure that CTOs and CIOs have a recovery strategy. Uh, so whether it's Commvault on-premises for data centers, Metallic for uh, SaaS applications or endpoints in the cloud, really the Commvault IP stack give, gives customers everything that they could want regardless of where they are in that process, in that journey. Uh, and the benefit that they get is the true, the true capabilities that you would expect from a leader in the market. Meaning when you need to recover, and I said this, I said this a year and a half ago, and I'll say it again, the biggest point in any Commvault solution is that recoverability. It's great to back up. It's great to say, see a green check mark when you run your, when you run your backups. But at the end of the day, if there's a breach or if there's something uh, anomalous happening inside of the environment, you need to be able to recover and do so quickly. And that's exactly what Commvault's uh, technology offers. That recoverability is, is the, the true uh, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And I'm, the benefit we have here is this is, this is not, a, uh, this is not a, a rainbow solution. This is something that's been tried and true and known in the industry for quite some time. Giovanni, you are talking a lot about Commvault and Metali, but for the public that are uh, listening to us, what is the difference between Metali and Commvault? That's a, that's a good point, and I should have prefaced that. Metallic is a division of Commvault. So the underlying ones and zeros of Metallic is the same Commvault complete enterprise-grade technology in an as-a-service delivery model. So a lot of a lot of our customers, uh, Eric, will ask, you know, was Metallic a purchased company or is this a new technology? And the answer is no. What we've done is we've stood up the Commvault enterprise grade technology in the Microsoft Azure cloud. So we leverage the best of Azure's IaaS and PaaS and take the Commvault IP to simplify the solution for our customers. We've had cust we've had many of our customers that unfortunately look at IT as a cost center rather than a revenue generating capability. So oftentimes, I'm sure you, you we've spoken to customers together where they'll look at IT and say, it's all right, Eric is running, you know, he's doing, he's doing LAN, he's doing telephony. We'll have him run backup as well. And in Giovanni, we can, we can save money on Giovanni. What that means is you're adding, you're adding more responsibility to a finite resource without giving them the capability necessarily. What Metallic, the as a service uh, product of Commvault does is it simplifies the deployment of a very, very capable solution in Commvault's ones and zeros. So we're trying to give customers a very elegant way to solve their complex problems. That's excellent. And, and basically when, when does a client need to consider Commvault on-premise, for example, or Metallic to back up their inf infrastructure? Quite honestly, it's really it's really up to what the customer's goals are. So if a customer has a cloud first strategy and is looking at possibly getting out of or uh, sunsetting a data center, we can look at leveraging uh, bits and pieces of both. And because Eric, because Metallic is Commvault's underlying technology, we don't have to make customers choose either or. It's what we call the power of and. Because Commvault's technology and Metallic are one and the same, customers can have a single pane of glass to manage their environment without having to necessarily give up the benefits of SaaS for the workloads that they deem should be backed up by SaaS. So it's really dependent upon what a CIO or a VP of IT is looking to do with their strategy. Um, I, I recognize I am the Metallic Cloud Specialist for 
uh, for Canada and Latin America for a combo. But at the end of the day, I recognize that there's always going to be data center for footprint. And the cool part about my job and my solution is we can back data center workloads up in the cloud. So we can leverage a cloud-based solution to back up data on-premises and then leverage the cloud for those storage repositories as well. So it really, there's a high level of capability that that uh, Commvault and Metallic offers. It's really, it's, it's a very cool position to be in because Commvault has been around for quite some time. We are, we are backward capable for 20 years and we're forward looking for another 10. You, you, we talked just before the, uh, the way that we change, uh, uh, the way we work, uh, we work more from home and et cetera. So basically we took the people from the office and, and we, we changed the tools that we were using inside the company. For example, at Novipro, we expedite the decision to move from um, Microsoft on-premise to everything on Office 365. And I guess a lot of clients made those decisions because it was easier to communicate with Teams, for example, and Office 365. Still, 365 is a really good product. It's a good business suite, but it still needs protection and it still needs backup also. So how does Metallic can leverage the Office 365 solution and why I think Metallic is the best solution for backing up Office 365 and all the 365 tools on Azure? Yeah, and, and Eric, I'm gonna expand that a little bit beyond 365 and just say SaaS applications because quite honestly, they all share um, a common through line in that shared responsibility model of, for SaaS applications. So whether it's Office 365, Dynamics 365, Salesforce, the responsibility of data protection always falls on the shoulders of a customer. So the providers themselves will provide availability of the solution and the data set However, protecting that data, as you point out, always falls on the shoulders of the customer. So if there is a breach or if there uh, is a data loss event, it's the customer's responsibility to have a backup or have a strategy in place. And that's why third-party backup for those, those solutions is so critical. Um, and at the end of the day, Metallic is a very easy to deploy, very uh, seamless solution for any of the solutions that I just mentioned. So Office 365, Dynamics, Salesforce, those are also all inclusive capabilities. So when we, when we propose Metallic to any of our customers, we're going to offer an all-inclusive functionality to our customers, whether that's on SaaS applications or in hybrid cloud workloads, because we want to give our customers cost predictability. The capability to back up the solution is very, very important, as you point out. But also, when you go, when we're speaking to the C-suite, when we're talking to CIOs and CFOs, giving customers cost predictability in their backup and recovery is almost as important as the technology itself. So it's it's very it's very fitting that that uh, we we handle and speak to the technology at the at the capability level, but also talk to the mitigating factors when you're talking to people that handle budgets. And uh, you, you touch a very good subject, and we will go more deeper in a few uh, minutes. Um, just before that, just, just before going back to the finance, um, everybody's talking about artificial intelligence. Mm. A lot of solutions that now the business or the company is buying integrate artificial intelligence technologies. Yeah. So, why you, Metallic and Commvault, are using, uh, how do you integrate artificial intelligence technology into your solution? And what are the advantage, advantage when you use artificial intelligence on the backup solution compared to a basic or a regular or legacy basic solution? Yeah, it's a, it's, our AI is, has been leveraged by Commvault for decades at this point. Um, and the benefits are, are numerous, quite honestly, Eric. With Commvault's, lever with Commvault's use of AI, customers can see a number of benefits. Primarily, it's the possibility of being proactive in how they are looking at their backups and helping protect themselves from ransomware. So the uh, use of honeypot files, files that should never be touched in a backup set, that's a huge red flag for customers where we give automatic alerts to the administrators of the solution 
to ensure that if that if that file is touched, that's an automatic breach. It's a notification to the to the administrator of a of a our customer, so they can go in, they can identify what where it came from, where the breach happened, and help them get to get back to pre anomalous conditions. Within Metallic, we leverage AI in a very similar capacity, but we've expounded or expanded upon that capability with our security IQ dashboard. So we are monitoring the for anomalous conditions, but we're also giving customers a little bit more in the sense that we help them uh, strengthen the posture that they have in their backup and recovery strategy. What that means is ensuring that they have multi-factor authentication uh, turned on in their solution, ensuring that they have uh, multi multi approval for restore and deletion. So even if someone were able to gain access to the solution and try to delete data out of a back upset, they'd have to get approval to do so. So even if a bad actor somehow found it their way to inside of a inside of a backup or inside of someone's tenant, they still wouldn't have the ability to truly do anything because we have the functionality in place to leverage so that we can prevent you know real data breaches to help secure our customers' data. And you, you know with Novi Pro we we do a lot of um professional services with our client and a lot of our clients are suffering lately regarding ransomware mm -hmm. and basically you cannot recover from a ransomware if you don't have a very solid backup solution mm -hmm. it's it's impossible to bring back the company if you don't have a solid disaster recovery plan so how how the artificial intelligence or Convolt or Metallic help the client to prevent those uh, fatal days or nightmares, I would say? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Eric. Unfortunately, it, it's, hard, it's hard to act after the fact. Um, having an air-gapped copy, a true gapped copy of your backup is really the primary goal in ensuring recoverability, regardless of what type of uh, attack you're hit, whether it's a, a, a phishing attack, a ransomware attack, where they tr truly try to lock down your data or steal your data, having an air-gapped copy of the solution. So AI aside, making sure you have an air-gapped copy of your solution, whether it's with Commvault or Metallic, is a primary goal. Um, one thing I'm very excited about within Commvault is our re recent acquisition of TrapX. So this is, this is a solution that's gonna help customers be more proactive than reactive in combating cyber criminals. So uh, this is something that's gonna be coming out very soon within the solution suite. So it's something that's uh, to, be, to be announced and it's gonna be coming here very shortly. But I'm very excited about it in the sense that rather than waiting to be reactive and recovering after the fact, uh, it's going to give customers a proactive approach to prevent and stop cyber criminals. So Commvault recognizes that the security conversation is one that is really primary, is a, it's a primary focus for many of our customers. And we wanna make sure that not only we help them after the fact, but now let's let's start to be a little bit proactive. Let's go on the offense and try to, uh, try to fight back, so to speak. So it's exciting for Commvault, quite honestly. And, and, and what is really good is that it it looks it looks a complex solution you know when you see everything that metallic and convol can do it seems complex but in fact it's it's quite contrary it's very easy to use it's very easy to implement yeah. we do have um, a lot of professional inside novipro that are used to work with convol solution yeah. and where are they using that when we are implementing Metallic on the client, it's incredible the easiest and the simplest way to implement Convol solution. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a, I would say, a leap, a forward leap in the way to deploy and implement. And in fact, we are more competitive because it's easy to implement. So it took less time and we are cheaper with the uh, uh, with the uh, any proposition that we are doing, so yeah. and even for the re recovery, when a client want to recover data, want to access some report, want to see what's going on on their backup solution, 
they have a very friendly console. They have a very friendly report that gives us a lot of information and everything. It's very easy to use. Yeah. And that, that's, that, that has been a goal of Commvault. Um, I've been with the company now going on four years. Uh, when a lot of our competitors will look at Commvault and say, well, they do so much, it's got to be complex. And the goal of our designers, not only with Metallic, but in Commvault Command Center, was to simplify the customer process and the customer journey, so to speak, to do exactly what you, you just said, Eric, and to simplify the deployment of our capabilities and make it so that customers can come in, do the things that they need to do, get the reports that they can they, they need to get, and ultimately move on to more revenue generating activities for their organizations. And that, whether it's Commvault or Metallic, giving customers a unified single pane of glass, regardless of the solution they're using, is really a simple to uh, to use an intuitive interface for the for our customers when they're using our IP. The last topic I would like to talk to with you, uh, Giovanni, and you were briefly uh, touching the subject before. It's all the uh, financial aspect. Yeah. Uh, using a SaaS solution or a cloud solution, sometimes it's it can be a paradise, but when you get the bill at the end of the month, you may have a lot of surprise on the cost that you need to uh, to give to the provider because most of the time there is some hidden cost that nobody talked to you about like for example the egress you know nobody nobody's talking about egress costs when you go to the cloud because they don't want to talk about that so how comes metallic and how metallic help the cfos of the companies the uh, director to uh, sleep well and make sure that the bill that they will get at the end of the month, it's what they are expected to pay. Yeah. So I, I did, I touched on it briefly before, but um, ultimately we're talking about cost predictability for, for our customers. Uh, so when, when, when we are talking to a customer about their solution, whether it's uh, backing up SaaS applications or whether it's backing up uh, hybrid cloud workloads, We'll always provide an all-inclusive solution for the customer simply because it gives those CFOs, the CIOs, cost predictability and when they're building their budgets. Um, our goal is to make sure that a customer not only has the technology for what they're looking to back up, but also knows what the cost is going to be. Um, I'll, you know, I'll never say, I won't be, you won't hear a bad word from me about uh, any of the cloud providers out there. They provide a, a wholesale functionality that is was not available 20 years ago in the clouds that they provide. But what you discussed is real. Egress costs and restore costs, transactional costs is where a customer's bill will grow on a monthly basis. When working with Metallic or working with Commvault and giving a, a fully all-inclusive solution with our, our cloud storage built in, it gives customers that cost predictability knowing that what they paid at the outset set is all that they're going to pay for their backup and recovery. And the true benefit and differences that you'll see from a metallic or a Commvault solution, as opposed to some of the more standard capabilities in the market, is the true IP underlying the technology, meaning our deduplication and compression will help mitigate the size of the backups itself. So as compared to another uh, other providers out there, you know, a, a relatively small data set of five to 10 terabytes at the end of the year can be anywhere from 50 to 100 terabytes if you don't have the right dedupe and compression. You can rest assured that with the Commvault and Metallic solution in place, you're only going to be backing up the changed data that moves up to the cloud. It really mitigates the size of the data that you have to store up there. And again, it helps, it helps keep that total cost down for a CIO and CFO. Well, that, that that's all very interesting subject, Giovanni. Um, Thank you so much for taking time today to talk about all the uh, metallic and uh, convoy solution, and especially metallic. Um, and thank you, Giovanni, uh, for being uh, for being back with us to talk about uh, ransomware and any and the difference uh, since the pandemic that we are living, and uh, discussing about the importance, uh, like you said. The, the company are still responsible to secure their data, even if they're using SaaS application like 
Office 365 or any other SaaS application. So it's very important that we still keep in line with disaster recovery and business continuity plan. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you to everyone for listening this IT break session, which is the episode 62. And again, Giovanni was with us at the episode 47. So remember episode 47. So if you if you want to want to listen again, Giovanni, on the previous subject, go back to our hub, which is uh, novipro.com, and you will see uh, the um, hub, uh, say, uh, hub icon, and you will be able to uh, listen again, Giovanni. And um, if you have any more uh, topics that you want to listen, please go to the hub and you will see also any a lot of kind of topics that you can uh, see on different IT breaks and also any webinar that we are doing. So thank you, everyone. You want access to a range of cutting edge information? Go to our online content area at hub.nobipro.com. 